with about four of them, as I understand it. All right, let's try that, and let's throw a fire. Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Conan Exiles, episode 101. Where we still have this gaping hole in the bottom floor of our tower. We'll take care of that, but today we're going to be going after Star Metal, which is going to be pretty exciting. Very anxious to finally pull the trigger on this, and I feel like we have everything set up. Let me get these things here, and then I'll grab a stack of this brimstone. Actually, I'll go ahead and grab two, because why not? And then we're going to need two stacks of... No, we're going to need one for once. So we'll need four stacks of black ice. And what I have prepared up here might not be the final draft, but so I wanted an area to make weapons, an area for forging, an area to do armor. So basically a lot of the little stuff here, we're going to do carpentry stations, and I don't know if we'll do the fireball cauldron. This is supposed to be an armory, so there's going to be... It's got to be a carpenter's area. In any event, um, let's see, we moved the good smelter up here. And this is going to be for the star metal right here, where, where we will put it in. And we'll take the steel stuff back downstairs. As we wait for morning, we should get star metal in the morning. So you can see I got rid of that little one. I don't know if I'm going to keep that hex hexagonal one either. But at this point, all of our dried wood is being burned, so I'm not in a hurry to put up more bonfires just yet. Although we will. For now, I'd like to secure all this steel fire. And we are making more. We can go ahead and put this coal in the fluid press. What are we so heavy? Oh, it's all the steel as well. Okay. We'll just put the steel in here and make the reinforcements. There we go. Oh, still heavy. So heavy. Put all the coal in here. And we'll take out that. All of those. Wonderful. Got a little bit of tar stockpiled. A good bit of steel fire stockpiled. We're running out of brimstone, so that's a thing. We're going to have to go and get more of that, but that's okay because a trip down to where the brimstone is. Is that the star metal falling? I heard something. Hmm. Feel like we would have had more more warning than that. So you can hear it. It's like thunder almost in the distance. No, it's it's coming. It's it's going to happen. All right, so we've got our grease orbs, our demon fire orbs. We're going to get as much of it as we can. Our armor is repaired. Go ahead and eat some of these bugs. Why not? All right, I think it's safe to say we can drop off some of these tools. In here. Uh, full, huh? Okay, well, we'll take that out. And one, two, three, there you go. And the wood will go over here to the carpenter's station. More shaped wood. We used up a little bit of that as well, doing all the different construction. Oh, these orbs are incredibly heavy. That's part of it. Okay. Also running out of ambrosia. Ooh, that makes me a little nervous. A little bit. It does. Alright, the bricks. Uh, let's see, we're putting the bricks over here. This is just kind of overflow. This one is a bunch of random stuff. We got gruel. No ambrosia. A lot of little beast heads. We'll have to do like a little, I don't know, trophy room, I guess. Alright, let's go up to the lookout. 
uh, which we don't have yet. We don't have the lookout yet, but we can go to our armory balcony. There you go. They should they should scatter across this area here. Hopefully they don't end up further up the mountain. If they do, we're going to trek to them anyways. Likely, though, they normally end up in this area. I've seen them land on the frozen lake itself, which that would be ideal at this point. So we've got our armor ready to go. In fact, we can start making start making some of these heavy linings. So let's go heavy chest padding, heavy boot lining. We'll just make one of each of these. Heavy legging, heavy helmet padding. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make anything. Well, no, we are going to need a star metal hatchet. So we're going to need some, what, sticks up here? I think everything just uses sticks after you get to a certain point of everything. Nope, that's shaped wood for that. And shaped wood, um, yep, for those as well. So we will need a carpenter station up here. We could start to work on that. Oof, I almost got roundhoused. Look out. go grab a sack of shaped wood here and what does it take to make another carpenter's bench because I think 150 huh well I almost wonder to a degree if these stations even need to be doubled up like this or if this is just a little over the top I think this might be over the top we probably don't need doubled up stations that's going to change uh, the interior walls. I don't know. This wall doesn't have a problem with the furnaces. It does have a problem with the blacksmith's bench because, look, you barely would have that to walk through if the wall was there. So this area will still be a work in progress, as you know many things are. See, so watch the pot never boils. And here I am just waiting for my star metal. You know what? Let's go down into the world, shall we? Oh, and I did... I did finally... go into all my archer thralls and make sure their bows had arrows equipped on them. So they are actually fighting now. Which is good. Hopefully we won't get hit by any star metal. We could just step out onto the lake for a bit. Practice our hunting. Rabbits, too. Ooh. There you go. Just come right over that mountain. Oh, that tower's going to look so neat when it's done. I need uh, more materials, though. Specifically black ice and steel reinforcements. I'm sorry. Yep. I love the way you can hear the ice, like, cracking. Okay, well, what we can do... I mean, though, there are quite a bit of treacherous enemies. Look at this ghost! Just floating along. We're gonna run out of lake eventually. Huh. <laughs> okay. It's interesting. Still just sliding along. Nope, there it goes. Well, let's see. Because we also need... We need black ice. I could go up and get that. That's going to take me a good bit away from my area here, though. We can gather some iron while we wait. There's always a good bit of iron over here. well as mountain lions. I don't see any of those. And they're okay unless they attack you in a big group, which there seem to be some pretty pretty large groups of animals out this way. Over encumbered. Right, I'm not going to be able to carry much because I've got these orbs. 
and we can get rid of all this stone and at least one of these. Nope, two of these. So close. It's that shaped wood in my inventory. Okay, fine. I don't want to be encumbered, and I don't want to not be in a position to go after the star metal as soon as it drops. There's not another floor that will be built on this tower until we are rocking full star metal armor. Likely going to use the flawless design that the armor can make. I don't see why we wouldn't. The downside is that we can't repair it ourselves. Well, that lake is going to be looping for a little while now. Um, so we won't be able to make it ourselves, or repair it ourselves. But I think better durability, better defense, it's worth it. Not to mention, we can mod it as well. We can mod it as well to continue the trend of it having more resilience. Or we could just mod it for armor. I'm not sure which would be better. Off the top of my head. Let's pull these bricks and stone out of there. I don't see, see a reason for all of that. that star metal oh every every boom and thud now all right there are there are always more metal for us to get more metal nodes there are always metal nodes okay Apparently, we haven't killed enough wolves in this set side of the woods over here. Oh my goodness. Take for granted how effective this hardened steel armor is. These wolves used to be a very serious issue. You watch all those times that star metal fell while I was in my tower and had perfect line of sight and visibility to where it landed, and it's going to fall now where I can't see it because I'm over here trying to be productive instead of just sitting around. Let's see, where does that put us if we drop the stone? All right, works for me. It could throw the orbs down, and then not throw them down. I could put them somewhere, and I could carry more while I'm grinding, but I'm really just not trying to do anything that's too important. If I had to throw all the iron stone down and, and just run for the star metal, then I would. Now, the main reason I'm trying to react quick to the star metal is to make a judgment call as to which group is going to be the best to go after so that I'll have an easy time finding them all. So I would like to get as much as possible my first time around. Get that stone out of there. No, no reason to have that stone in there at all. We do have all of this iron here. It's so much iron. But we need smelters, we need alchemists, we need... Uh, I want just people everywhere. I don't even know if I can put somebody on these drying racks, but I want somebody on these drying racks. All of this stuff. It all needs thralls. So if we go up top... This floor will be where we do a lot of the food and the dining area. And then the next floor beyond this one will be the observatory deck. And that's where we will put our elevator. Ooh, let's not fall off. See, what I'm hoping is I'm hoping they don't land all the way up there. They can. Normally they... I've seen them land over there a lot. Getting close to midday. Oh, is that black ice over there? Oh, man. 
It's a pretty handy nearby spot for black ice, although it could be regular ice. It looks like black ice, though. Hmm. Suppose we should go gather more metal. Might as well keep the iron flowing. Actually, we're going to need steel. Yeah, so one of the things we can do... ...is we can start making some steel here. 200 ought to be a good start. There it goes. Okay. Sadly, we had just gone downstairs. I did see where one of them landed. So we're going to check pretty much the whole area at this point. I saw where one landed. I know where we can get one for sure. Those are the mountain lions over there. If we have to cut down the trees to find them, then we'll cut down the trees to find them. That looks like one right there. Ooh, two of them. Okay. Come on. Ooh, a third. Yep. Come on. Ambrosia, please. Thank you. All right. This looks like one. Yes. Okay. Let's clear the area around it so we can see what we're doing. Alright, let's get all this stuff out of here. Out of here, please. Go ahead. Break it up. Alright, so here is the first one. Look, and there's another one. Okay, so they all sort of landed in this area. That is great to know. Okay. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to need here Yeah, is to cover this thing with about four of them, as I understand it. Alright, let's try that, and let's throw a fire. Okay. Not sure if it's in there destroyed or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw another grease orb. Just to keep it burning. We've definitely got it going. Oh, wait, I see the cracks on it. I think that's all we're supposed to... Boom! It is done. Oh, yes, that is good stuff. So now we just need to let the fire die out. Oh... If the fire will ever die out. Okay, we could go and start working on the next one while we wait. Nope, there it goes. Star metal ore. Oh, and look at that. Mm, that harvesting times three. That's... Oh, that's so delicious. Okay, let's get another one. Oh, there's two of them. So, oh, they're so close to one another. Okay, this is good. We're going to have to go back and get more brimstone and the ambrosia and all that stuff, too. So this this will be probably our last episode in this section for a little bit, maybe. I'm likely going to do some work on the tower, however... However, I will also need to go and get supplies from other areas. Um, I do not need this wood or this bark, okay... Let's go ahead and we'll do one, not quite, two, three, four, and we'll set fire to it. Boom! There we go. It's got the cracks forming on it. We can go ahead and start working on this one as well. I likely think we're going to be going back encumbered this time around. I'm going to try to carry as much as I can. Uh, 
Oh, these tend to go, seem to go a long way, too. Uh, that one has not broken its shell, I don't think. Nope, that one needed one more, because I don't think I can... Yeah. So it did need one more oil orb. Okay, well, why don't you come run through this fire, huh? Oh, that one's that one doesn't have any cracks on it though. All right, okay. Come on, back up into the fire. I'll throw I'll throw a fire orb at you if I if they weren't so important. Mm, I would. I shouldn't make threats I'm not willing to follow up with. That one didn't even get any cracks on it. Okay, well, good thing we have more. Okay, let's try. It's one, two, three, four, and then fire. And this one should just need, what, maybe one, right? And then fire. And then what we'll do is we'll hit this one with a little bit more oil. And same with this one. Doesn't even have cracks on it yet. Hmm. This one is being a bit of a pain. This one has cracked wide open. Oof, let's not stand in the fire. That's a little dangerous. This one doesn't want to give it to us. Could be a little bugged. We could go a little further into the mountains looking for the other one that we saw drop. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Give me all of the star metal. All of it. Oh, we're going to have so much. This thing, though... Maybe we'll come back to that one. Let's go a little bit deeper into the mountains, see if we can see where the other one fell. Is that it? I don't think that's it. We are thirsty. Let's get some water and a roasted haunch. Okay. Let's see another one. I wanted a third, too. Two is pretty good. We have a lot of ore. Don't exactly know the conversion rate, though, between the ore and the bars. But I know we need quite a few bars to make a suit of armor. We should be good to go, but we also want to make um, star metal tools. Uh, we don't need to really replace the, the pick, but I would like to make a star metal hatchet, a star metal dagger. Hmm, we could spend more orbs on it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll just give it we'll give it one more go. Maybe hit the ground a little bit around it. Maybe hit it over here. All right? And then we'll throw a couple of these. So we'll throw one over here. One over here. That looks pretty hot in there. <laughs> I don't see any cracks forming. Two out of three is not bad. Because two out of three ain't bad. Um, I think we're going to have to abandon this one. Yeah, it seems like it might be glitched. Okay, well now I am inclined to push a little deeper in. Um, or we could just go back with what we have. Seven, eight, eight hundred and eighty-eight. That's pretty good. Let's go. Let's haul that back. We can always be ready for the next one. Ooh. Because there will be more. And now we have a reason. <clears throat> now we have a reason to jump down and go after the star metal every time that it's easy to get to. Oh. It's mountain lions. 
It's not so bad if they don't hit you with that swipe where they pull both paws up in the air. That one's a little rough. Alright, we'll just run back across this part of the lake. This part of the lake just has one lonely little ghost. It's the other part that has the whole city. Alright. And we have our best uh, smelter ready to do the star metal. I, I was going to say the best smelter, but I realized probably not our best in all of our buildings, but the best one here because it's the only one here. And there's the armor. We're not yet ready for you. Smelter. How would you like to make some star metal? So it looks like it's two to one. Oh my goodness, it's two to one. So we're going to have 400 star metal bars. Wow, it's quite a bit. It's good though. It was a lot of work to get to this point. I think uh, while that's going on, we'll get rid of these orbs. They're sort of heavy. We'll find a good spot for them. Where we'll make them in the future, maybe? How about some of these cooking ingredients? How about that? I'll carry those over here for now. This is likely full. Almost. Uh, I don't think we need all that putrid flesh. And we can drop off our resin here. There we go. Now our weight is back down to what I would expect. Mm, I wonder if star metal armor is heavier than hardened steel. Ooh, it could be. It very well could be. This is pretty good. Pretty excited. Alright, so we'll take, take some and let's bring it over here. Look at that. So we'll start with a flawless star metal helmet. Ching. I can't even wait for it all to be smelted. I'm just taking it out as fast as it's ready. Just give it to me. Oh, it's only a Hyborian Smelter 3. Too bad we don't have Dia Lead Drinker here. She would get it taken care of. Uh, let's go Star Metal Pauldron of the Flawless variety, please. I've heard a watched pot never boils, but um, I can't walk away from this one. Too excited. Star Metal Tacit. How about gauntlets? And then some boots. Wow, Than Hammerblow makes that stuff fast. Mm. It's going to take time to get that last bit of star metal in there. Boots are 12. Tass, it's 15. Oh. Oh, the weight. The weight is so brutal. It really has been. These beautiful blue bars. I love it. Okay, flawless star metal boots. Now we just need the tacit. Oh, it's so close. So close, but yet so far. That's just as fast as it goes right there. Could pull out this dried wood. Um, yeah, we could just do it like that. One less thing I have to worry about. Alright, that's 12. That should be enough to at least do... Oh, all that's left is the Tacit at 15, which is one more. Alright. There we have it. Oh, there we have it. Alright, let's put it on. So we're talking... 2,000 durability, armor value of 45 versus... Here, let's take off what we had. Let's compare some things. Get an idea here. Okay, so we've got 2,025 durability, armor value of 45 
weight of 5.7. This is a weight of 13, 500 less durability, armor value only 42. The knockback defense is less though, but it is higher armor value. Can we, can we see how we... No, you're not going to do this. There it is. Oh, look at that. That does look awful regal. It's pretty serious. So it's 132 versus 53. Okay. 123 versus 73. So we absolutely get better armor, 132 versus 123. Almost 10 more armor, but less knockback defense. Looks like the same type of... No, no, this, this keeps us warmer too. The head and the legs have more insulation than the hardened steel. Okay, that's, that's good to know. We'll go ahead and we'll take some of this star metal over here. And we'll start with the star metal hatchet. And then we'll have to get the star metal dagger as well. Let's look at our feats here. Star metal shield. Um, star metal hammer, spear, cleaver... There's a star metal dagger. We can unlock that one. That one should be, let's see, pretty easy as well. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't doubled up these stations. That's okay. Star metal dagger. And to make our reinforcements, uh, so let's take a peek over here. In order to make, we have... Um, armor patch kit, no. Armor rebalance increases the poise. Or flexibility. Mm. Plating, increase the strength of armor. Remove weight, remove extra weight from armor. Hmm. Where's the armor reduction kit? I guess there's just the one armor reduction kit. They don't make various tiers of that. The weight, though, really isn't an issue. Look at how much encumbrance I gained back by wearing the lighter armor. Oh my goodness, that's going to help with carrying resources and thralls long distances very, very much so. Hmm. I think what we need... Just armor plating, right? Just go full-on armor plating. There's good armor plating here somewhere. There it is. Thick armor plating. Thick leather and twine. To increase the strength of armor. I think we should... Should just go all the way on that. So let's go find our twine. Which, there should be a good bit. Yeah, right there. And then we're also going to need... We're going to need some of this hardened steel. Yep, to make toolkits for our hatchet and our dagger. Even if we don't need it for the weapon yet. Because we're going to stick with the black ice longsword for now. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just make one, two, three, four, five. Why not? We'll just do all five for the padding. And then over here, throw in the hardened steel and we'll say, where's my tool kits? Balanced weapon fitting, weapon damage. Simple tool upgrade. Regular tool upgrade, advanced tool upgrade. One, two, please. Thank you. Alright. Now what we can do... 
let's take all this off and let's see what we're looking at so this is 45 armor now let's do a simple one like the boots 13 armor and now it's 16 13 16 147 armor now mmm that's good we probably could cycle out a few of these extra points into agility maybe maybe not I don't know I don't know if I want those two points in vitality though uh so yeah 147 on the armor that's pretty exciting I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked about that Let's get these going here. So we'll take the star metal hatchet, and I'll keep the dagger on me and the hardened steel hatchet. This can go downstairs. Because at this point, I don't know why we would use anything else. Can I sort this, please? Thank you. All right, and now we're also going to need a journey to go get brimstone and more thralls. Um, but there is a uh, there is a dungeon. So now that we have the best armor we can possibly make, not just uh, not just star metal armor, but flawless star metal armor, reinforced with the best padding we can make. This is the highest armor rating we're going to be able to get unless we start stockpiling points into agility, which is also an option, but we're not gonna go that road. That means that we could potentially make our journey over to the dungeon, the Black Keep, try our hand there. Yeah, it's going to be tough to give up this Black Ice Longsword. This thing is really powerful. So we'll have to weigh our options as to where we're going to go from here. I know we need goods. I would like to get, I would like to do a massive Thrall Harvest. Maybe in our big city that we're working on to the south. Um, I also absolutely want to continue work on this tower. This tower is not finished. It is close, but it is not finished. It's not close. Halfway. Um, but all of those things, there's just, there's so much to do, so much to work on. We're going to have to figure it out. But in any event, we are star metaled up. And we have black ice weapons. And there's really nothing holding us back except ourselves. So this being the best configuration that we can get into for defense... There should be anything that we can't solo now with proper application of a follower thrall and a little bit of kiting, we're not going to be able to solo. So at this point, we should absolutely push ourselves. And I'm thinking the Black Keep will likely be where I go next because, well, it's, it's kind of between... It's sort of between us. We've got to go close to it just to get back to where we where our big city is because we're going to get a lot more thralls like a lot more thralls we're going to capture quite a few of them so that we can hopefully have a massive population that we can bring to other locations and even though it will be a bit of a journey carrying them here I think it will be worth it in the long run that being said, that's where we're going to wrap things up. Finally, we finally got our Star Metal episode, and hope it was worth the wait. And this has been Conan Exiles, episode 101. 101, wow. Absolutely my longest series ever. And hopefully it will continue going for quite some time, as I have no plans on stopping this before Alpha 17 is released for 7 Days to Die, and that's actually a bit away still, I believe. So that being said, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. As always, I've had a good time playing. Please come back next time as we trek out of this location and we'll either do the dungeon or we'll gather resources. Um, I'm leaning towards the dungeon, though, because I'm very curious to see it and I've been trying to wait and be patient. But until next time, take care.